Good morning, guys. Uh, as you can see behind me, oh my gosh, it is beautiful out here this morning. It's a little bit cool and we have a very pretty sunrise. You'll probably hear a bunch, quite a few more birds than usual in the background too, because it is 515 here in Phoenix. Uh, the thing that I wanted to share with you this morning is all about images, pictures, drawings for your website, uh, your content that you're creating and products that you're selling because Oh my gosh, when I first started my business, I just could not figure out how the heck I was going to get high quality images that reflected my brand that didn't break the bank. So a couple of things. First, I'll share with you a couple of free resources and I'll put the links uh, down in the comments as well. Uh, two of my go-tos are Pixels and Pixabay.com. So Pixels is P-E-X-E-L-S.com and Pixabay is P-I-X-A-B-Y.com. There's several others, uh, but they're under what's called the Creative Commons license. And so you can use them, you can put them on your products, on your website, on your banners. Just always read the, the rules behind the images so you know exactly what you can and cannot do. But they're it's a really cool resource because there's no limit and you can download the images and have really great images on your site. Um, if you have some other images that you're looking for, uh, one of my favorite resources is Shutterstock.com. So on Shutterstock, you do pay for the images. A little kind of trick, you can sign up for the monthly subscription and it, you can cancel at any time. So for example, um, yesterday I did sign up for my, a monthly subscription. It was $50, 50, no, $125 with tax. It comes to 130 and I get 50 images. So I end up paying like two bucks, a couple of dollars uh, an image. If you don't go with a monthly subscription and you buy a package, it's way more expensive. I think you pay like you know, $50 for five or something. It's like 10 bucks a piece. So you could sign up for the 50, pay $125, download whatever you want, and then cancel. Um, the standard license, you ha have 500,000 uses of the image. So, you know, one social media post is one use. If you're gonna use it on a product, so like the journal that we're creating, we are going to have some images from Shutterstock. Every journal that's printed, is considered a use. So if I sold, you know, 10,000 journals, that's 10,000 uses. But I have 500,000. Uh, once you get over the 500,000 mark of uses, you have to upgrade to an enhanced license, and that's pricey. It's like $100 an image. Um, we're we're going to use probably 20 images from Shutterstock in our journal. But I look at it this way: if uh, if we sell 500,000, if I sell a half million journals, I'll gladly pay $2,000 for the images. So um, just protect yourself. Make sure that if it's a paid image you're going through and you're, you know, going to Shutterstock and you're paying for it, don't pull them down from someone else's website um, or a site on the internet where you found the images um, and not pay for them because first of all, it's not good for your brand. It's not good for the artist. Um, and you can get significant fines for it. And you do have other cool resources like Pixabay and Pixels where you can get your free images. I hope that helps you. I really struggled when I first started my business to figure out how the heck am I gonna get pictures that really reflect my brand and the work that I'm doing without breaking the bank. And that's how you can do it. Go for the free ones first. And when you're ready to launch a product or you need something specific, check out Shutterstock or Big Stock or one of those places where you can buy your images. And yeah, keep yourself safe and enjoy looking at the images. I was out there yesterday and I thought, oh my gosh, I could spend so much time and money in here because there's some really talented people out there. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.